Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my biggest disagreement with Weds is about local game stores. And this also expands to TCG Player, which I will make another video on, where I feel like TCG Player doesn't really help local game stores because they have to compete against other stores as well as pay a percentage. So it would be like saying support eBay because there are some people on eBay who are local game stores. Now, that sentiment has been widely accepted because I don't think people are digging too much deeper into it, but I'm going to do a deep dive in a coding language we're going to call a deep dive into whether or not that makes sense. But one of my biggest um, differences with Weds is about Walmart. I'm not a big supporter of buying your card from Walmart. I don't like the concept of iconic masters at Walmart. I don't like the concept of stores having to compete with Walmart. They are not doing well. They're already doing very poorly and you can blame that on the store, but then again, the store gives you a place to play magic. And that doesn't concern someone who does not have a local game store. I grew up with local game stores. I remember my first local game store was near a flower shop. It was a very small place They used to sell Pokemon stuff. We used to play Pokemon on uh, Fridays and Magic. No, F Magic Fridays, Pokemon on Saturdays, League around noon. And you meet lots of good friends. And that's what I've always. Magic was a lot better back in my day. I'm going to go ahead and say that. I'm going to be criticized, but I said it. Then they opened a Wizard of Coast store in my local mall, the Exxon Square Mall next to JCPenney's. I would go there all the time not just Fridays, but also Saturdays and Sundays because I'm just like a geeky Asian kid and that was home. Eventually went bankrupt, but not before I spent a lot of Christmas money there. <laughs> um, I just loved it. Uh, so in middle school, I had Wizards of the Coast. Um, in high school, we ordered, I mean, it was kind of taboo to order stuff on, from Card Kingdom. Card Kingdom was around when I was in high school and they were the biggest vendor. And this one guy, David, he would always order cards from Card Kingdom and people just refused to play with him because they want to support your local game store, which was BC Collectibles at the time. They held Magic the Gathering. At this point, Wizard of the Coast, I think, went belly up, or the store went belly up in the mall. So I've always grown. And then when I went to NYU, I had this store in Midtown Manhattan. So there was a store that you can take from 14th Street that you took a subway for a few minutes and I would go with my floor mates, uh, the, the people who lived in the same floor I did. And we would go to, we went to the Ascension pre-release. I remember that being a really fun time. And we also went to the ones, uh, Ravnica, obviously. Ravnica, Descension, and what is the other one? It's name I f forget at this time, but it was really fun. I had a great time. Okay, and then when I went to William Mary Law School, there was a place called Groovy Geckos, and Groovy Geckos was, it's no longer around, but it had like, it bankrupt like four or five times when I was there, and that was pretty crazy, but that was really fun. Uh, it was one of the funnest places. Uh, obviously, it had a very bad reputation, being the only game store in all of, you know, a huge college campus town. You would think that it would do very well, but we only had two college kids and me from law school, and that was it. And then the rest of the people were locals, which I absolutely enjoyed. One of the things that I think is incredible about Magic the Gathering is you can go anywhere and you can find friends. And those friends won't be the same as you. I've been on record for saying I have Magic friends and non-Magic friends. I enjoy my Magic friends a lot. I do. Would I hang out with them in a professional way? Probably not. But man, when we play Magic, we have fun. We do the game days. So, and when I moved to Houston, I had a lot of good game stores. Swords and Superheroes went belly up because they were, well, the one, there used to be two. I think they consolidated into one, but they went belly up. And Battle Bunker went belly up. And that was from very, very poor management, in my opinion. Actually, you know, we're going to make videos later this week with, um, Presley and Presley went to Battle Bunker and she went to DNA Comics. So she went to the same local game store. I know a lot of you are not like, you don't think that she plays magic. And see, I mean, she is a geek to the core. She is way geekier and way nerdier than I am by like a factor of probably 10. 
Um, so you guys will love her. And I, I, I know that's why eventually you guys will love her, even if you don't do now. Because, I mean, she will be the MTG line brand eventually. Maybe it takes, you know, 90 days. Maybe it takes 180 days. But eventually she'll be the brand. Um, I think that is my decision. And um, I'm going to go with it. So anyway, I mean, does this sound like someone that is like happy <laughs> that Walmart exists? And it's because Wedge probably didn't grow up with these local game stores, or he maybe he said that he currently doesn't have one, so he doesn't understand that. Yes, sometimes you do have to pay more money. Yes, sometimes when my game store grew, the reason I have Innistrad, I still have a case, a sealed case of Innistrad, original Innistrad, and a f two boxes of Innistrad. We drafted the other four boxes. I had two and a half cases uh, when I went to Houston, and it's because the local game store went out of business and he just needed extra money, so I bought the boxes from him. Luckily, it was Innistrad and not Dark Ascension, although Dark Ascension is not too bad. I also have half a case of Avacyn Restored, and you might ask, how did I get all these stuff, right? It's because I went to law when I went to law school, this store bankrupt five times. Five times times it bankrupt and then finally it just died but every time it bankrupt the owner at the time wanted to get rid of inventory what is inventory well it's warhammer and it's magic booster boxes so i had so many magic booster boxes that it was insane because i was literally the only one buying the stuff oh i remember um corset oh i remember it's such a good memory a corset so I had a law student friend or two of them who played Magic the Gathering and we and we were going to we were studying for the bar exam which is this massive exam you take at the once you graduate and we went took a road trip to Richmond uh, to do the pre-release and then we came back the next day and we were so exhausted and like you know we had like it's like SAT classes almost but it's for the bar and we just passed out I mean it was bad I just remember so many fond memories of my local game store. And even though Dean Comics no longer does FNM because they got like banned or something, something bad happened to them where they no longer can do FNM. And I really haven't found another store. I mean, I'm sure someone will recommend a store. But for me, what I look for a store is I don't want to be treated any differently. Um, I don't want to be MTG Lion at the store. I just want a bunch of friends who I like and hang out with. And that's it. Um, yeah, so I'm still looking for the perfect store. DNA Comic was a very good store. Battle Bunker, meh, I mean, didn't have, it was like 100 degrees, and it didn't even have, like, AC. So, that's meh. Swords and Superhero, meh. But I used to do store hopping from place to place, and that was the best. Oh, actually, my fondest memory of a local game store isn't something that I've gone to every time. My fondest memory is when a person from London, this was when I had a new law student channel and it was much smaller, like 2,000 subs, which was actually very large at the time. And a person from London drove, we had Whataburger, and I was like my first like realization that, hey, these are real people watching my video. Like you see these numbers and they're not real to me, right? Oh, a thousand people. Like, is that my mom a thousand times? Maybe like, <laughs> I don't know. like. I mean, like, but that was the first time, and that was like a hyper fan, right? And that was very early on. I was like, wow, this is interesting. And from that time on, I've always been very honest with you. Am, am I perfect? No. But at least I'll be honest, and if I make a mistake, it's a mistake. I'll leave it up, right? So I have this mistake where I said Tolarian was supporting fake cards, although it was, quote, sarcasm. And I was trying to figure out if this is really Tolarian posting on Rudy's video. You know what? I know, I realized it was a mistake and I'm gonna leave it up because I'm not gonna put my videos unlisted, right? I mean, come on now. <laughs> anyway, support your local game store because literally no one else is telling you to. I mean, who supports card, who supports Tolarian? Cardkingdom.com. Hmm, where can you buy cards from? Cardkingdom.com, hmm. When can, where can you buy all these Ultra Pro stuff? Good question. And then Mana Source, obviously, I'm going to go into TCG Player because I think someone should say it, say it. Like, 
saying that TCG Player is your local game store is really saying that Amazon or eBay is your local game store because they offer... It doesn't make any sense. Your game store would much rather have you pay them directly than have to pay a fee. I'm going to explain why. It's not... It's basic math, right? It's basic math. And so in my next video, I will go over basic math. Anyway, bye guys.